Seriously, on the Rod Peterson Show. David Asplin in Winnipeg says, Rod, how do you feel about the Bombers wearing white unis? I'm getting a kick out of it. I guess they're wearing all white. Why not? It's a white out tonight. Should be a spectacle on TSN on Friday Night Football. What do I? It's a, it's marketing. It's a gimmick. The Bombers again do things right. All it is is getting stuff, getting people talking. Yeah, that's the best word of my. You know what sells tickets? Not billboards. Not radio commercials. Hype, buzz, and that's what we'll be tuning in tonight to see how this looks. Right? Absolutely. So how do I feel about it? It's great. I, I will tell you this. I think when the Saskatchewan Rough Riders debuted him, and although a lot of my memories are gone from that time, it was week one in Hamilton, Ben Heenan's first game, if it matters, and George Cortez was coaching the Ticats. I think that was the first game. The Rider people will correct me if I'm wrong, but they took the field. I'm like, what am I looking at? It was that stormtrooper look. Remember, we called them that stormtroopers. Yes. White helmets, white jerseys, yep. white pants, white shoes. But I, after a while, it seemed really cool. Very cool. Yeah, and then it's like, well, I can't imagine them in anything else. Yeah. What's their helmets going to be like tonight? Have we seen the helmets? I apologize. I haven't. No, I guess we got to tune in to TSN tonight. We got to tune in because it's so great, and I love it. Like, I don't see enough pub about the jersey release or the jersey setup and maybe it's because it's too regular but you know i see it when i follow the tennessee titans you know every day early in the week one day they always release the uniforms and they have a similar because they have a white helmet and they have a stormtrooper look too with the white pants white jerseys and it looks great and i'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like tonight get ready for the rod peterson show Third best city in the world to live in, Calgary, Alberta, behind Vienna, Austria, and Copenhagen, Denmark. But look around. Uh, oh, my kids are here. My, my kids are here. I'm still in Regina. But I remember my kids both had, one had dance practice and one had soccer practice. Both at 5 o'clock on opposite ends of the city. No other city in the world can get them both there on time. Every city is great for different reasons. This is the Rod Peterson Show. Hello, Canada and Canadian sports fans around the world. Welcome to the RP Show on a brand new week. It is episode number 787 of your favorite daytime sports and entertainment talk show. And if you've noticed, we're at a slightly different environment. We're still at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino, but we've been moved over here to the event center. This is the concert hall, the theater, where all the best acts are. But I've got my... Trusty compadre with me, Darren Moose DuPont here. How you doing, Moose? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Doing really good. Good yeah. to see you. Good, good to, to see, see you. Ready to talk sports? Absolutely. Everybody, fill up your coffee and just settle in because I got a lot of things that I want to get into today. We're not going to necessarily break format. We've got our usual uh, big name sports guests coming up, Darren Dreger. From TSN, he's going to join us live for the Memorial Cup. We're going to talk some hockey with dregs. And Bernie Nichols, potentially our last visit with Broadway Bernie. I would think that it is the NHL ambassador for Bet Regal, our exclusive betting partner, because the NHL season ended last night. And um, I'll bring in the mooses in a second here. Can you hit the quick six show horn, please, Director Jordan? And let's just roll. Let's get to it. Honey, let's get down to it. And here's why, I, number one, my point number one is simply weekend sports. And a lot of that is contained in the next points two through six. But I wanted to say to Moose, we out here in Calgary voted the third best city in the world to live in, had a wonderful weekend. And we don't do the weekend photo album anymore, but I feel like we should, Moose, to just do justice to what our weekends was. Yeah. And Saturday, we went to the Calgary Stampeders Edmonton Elks game. We have a live studio audience here today, and uh, they were at the CFL game on Saturday. It was wonderful. For the Americans, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Not a, not a cloud in the sky, no wind, just a, just a beauty weekend. And then we went out to uh, Banff yesterday. Canmore stopped in, the, let's call it the world's greatest Smitty's. It was amazing. Oh. It was just the second that my breakfast hit my lips on Sunday morning. I'm like, oh, this is so good. 
And then I went to Canadian Premier League soccer game. And that, and of course, I'm comparing that versus the CFL game. And there's just so much to do. Throw in the mountains, throw in the wonderful people. And it was just great. And none of that, we went to a movie. Yes. At Landmark Cinemas. So if you wonder what we're doing with our time, it's filling up. But uh, you didn't go to the soccer game, but we have time to get you to one. It's just, a, it's so cool, man. It, it at least so looked cool. like you wanted to be there. Of course, and it did the last time, too, and it just looks awesome. I mean, when the crowd's full like that, the weather's great, everybody's into it, it seems great. Yeah, well, and that's the point, is uh, I'll be honest. Again, it's points two through six, uh, the, uh, the games that we were at. I'm going to get to those, but I'm kind of sitting there. The one thing about the Canadian Premier League soccer, and they have teams in Victoria and Edmonton, obviously, that's who they were playing here yesterday. Winnipeg. Uh, where else? Canadian, uh, Halifax, Hamilton. Yeah, pretty much every coast major city coast, has yeah. one. And I'm sitting there going, okay, if you need to figure out how you're going to spend your sports dollar, because I was with Mike Gabu Mesrick, the former CFLer that was on this show on Friday, and we're laughing. He grew up in an apartment building in downtown Toronto, a five minute bike ride from Skydome. Or even before that, uh, what do they call it, Wayne? What was the uh, stadium exhibition? You people in Toronto, <laughs> careful. Tell me, what was the name? P&E, I think, was where the Blue Jays used to play. So Abu bought all the tickets to the soccer, and they were $45. And we were kind of joking. He's like, my dad, who was from Lebanon initially, he paid $9 for Blue Jays tickets, so I think I should pay $9 for, for tickets. That was in 1982. <laughs> right? Not realizing there's inflation. It's yeah. 2022. So it was $45. And I'm sitting there going, listen, man, we're just coming out of a pandemic. I got to think there's people that had to make a conscious decision. Am I going to go to the CFL game or am I going to go to the CPL game? You know what I mean? Yeah. There is competition for the sporting dollar. That's my point. Absolutely. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. And now the competition's gotten even bigger than the sporting dollar, right? You got Some people got to decide, am I going to go to the CFL game, the CPL game? Am I going to go to the movie or am I going to drive out to Banff, right? They usually maybe get to pick one for the whole weekend. Especially with the price of gas. I know. Right. So I'm not going to apologize for the fact that we get into all these events for free, uh, except for Abu buying the tickets, but the, the Stams provided the tickets. And, but as I've seen people say, Les Lazarus being one, the voice of the Saskatoon Blades, when people say, oh, you didn't have to pay for tickets. Do you pay to go to work? Do you got to buy tickets to go to work? Because <laughs> it is our job. We're just very grateful that it is. Yes. Right? So anyways, that's weekend sports. It was a lot of fun. Life's great. Point two, the Stanley Cup. It ended Sunday night. The Colorado Avalanche have won the Stanley Cup after dethroning the two-time defending champion Tampa Bay Lightning Sunday night in Florida. The Avalanche beat the Lightning 2-1 in game six. Nathan McKinnon had a goal and a helper. Cal uh, Calgary product Kale McCarr won the Conn Smythe Trophy on Sunday as the playoff MVP after leading the Avs to their first Stanley Cup since 01. No one played or produced more for Colorado during the Stanley Cup run than McCarr, who also won the Norris Trophy as the NHL's top defenseman. He had 29 points to lead the Avs. I don't know if you saw the interview. I'm sure you did, Moose, after the game with the captain of the Avalanche, Gabriel Landeskog, and they said, it's a copycat league. What do teams in the NHL need to do to win a Stanley Cup like you? And Landeskog said, uh, I don't know, find another Kale McCarr. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I get that it's a copycat thing. We're in a copycat industry in the media. Sports is copycat. The NFL is like the biggest copycat league of all time. But it's like, it, as you pointed out to me, and now I've seen it for myself, if you are trying to copy the guy that won, the team that won, you're probably not going to win. Find your own way. You're a year too late. You're a year too late. That was what won today, this year, right? And you've seen it in the NFL with everybody trying to model – Kansas City, we got to have a real athletic quarterback who can run 100 miles an hour, right? Well, that was the model, and then defenses learn how to stop that, and a new model shows up. You know, Colorado, it's about speed, it's about skill, those active defensemen with, with you know, Devon Taves and McCarr and Bowen Byram, and, you know, the list goes on with Manson. Teams are going to learn how to defend that, and it's going to be a new model that's going to win. That's what won this year, and they were a heck of a hockey well, team. Well, you need very good Scouting and personnel, obviously, and the head scout of the Avalanche is a good longtime friend of mine, Wade Klippenstein. I talked about him in my commentary today, and I ran into him in a hockey game in Okotoks this winter, and we talked about his Avalanche, and I said, hey, uh, Clipper, they saying you got the most talented team in the NHL. 
And he said, that doesn't mean anything if we don't work hard. And when you combine the skill and the work ethic, boom, you have a Stanley Cup champion. So congratulations to the Avs and Clipper. And it's <clears throat> so typical. You have to understand this is a Saskatchewan thing. An argument has broken out over where Jared Bednar's from, the uh, coach of the Avalanche. Because if you look up Hockey DB, Hockey Database, which we live on, hockey people, it says, born Yorkton, Saskatchewan. But now people are saying, no, he's from Humboldt, Saskatchewan. He wouldn't normally care, oh, but no. where's he taking where's he taking the Stanley Cup? Where's he taking it this summer? They're saying it'll be Humboldt. I'm like, can we take it to both? Because I remember in 2012, your, Jared Stoll calling me. He's like, Roddy, I'm having a parade. Can you come up and make it a big deal? Bring your show up there to Yorkton. And I did. And I feel like we probably need to be in Yorkton or uh, Humboldt. Wherever Bedar is bringing the cup. Wherever he's bringing it, we probably have to be there. So that'll be, it'll be a fun summer um, watching where the cup goes. And that's always the thing, right? Where are, they, where are these guys from, right? And every town wants to claim ownership uh, to Jared Bednar now that he's a Stanley Cup champion. It's very similar to the CFL, which I will get to in a... Actually, no, point three. We'll move on to the Canadian Football League because it is summer. We'll come back around to hockey and obviously the Memorial Cup. But Moose and I were driving around Saturday night and listening to the BC Lions uh, broadcast on the radio. And they had Amar Doman on there, the owner of the Lions at halftime. And they were talking about this outstanding young quarterback for the Lions, Nathan Rourke. And Amar says, well, he's from my hometown, Victoria, BC. And I'm like, well, I thought he was from Oakville. (laughs) The same thing's going on. And I guess from an entrepreneur uh, mindset, which clearly Amar is, why can't he be both? All, right? Why does it have to be or? It can be and. Yeah. But But now they're tripping all over themselves over Nathan Rourke, the stud Quarterback of the BC Lions. And that could be a decent poll question for today. We've, we've come up with another. I stole it from one of the sports networks because they're already talking about who will win the Stanley Cup next year. And that's our poll question today for Capital Auto Mall, Universal Collision Center with dealerships all across the prairies. Who will win the Stanley Cup in 2023? Our options are, which I believe are the top three at the betting uh, places, the Colorado Avalanche to repeat, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Toronto Maple Leafs, or other. And running away with it on the poll results, by the way, is other. I don't even want to take a stab at who will win. I don't want to think about it. But what would have been a good poll question, maybe we'll do it tomorrow, is what was the best story coming out of week two in the Canadian Football League? But running away with that would be Nathan Rourke, the quarterback of the BC Lions, who set another record, I think, for, I think was it for passing yards in a game by a Canadian That's right, yeah. For the BC Lions, I shut it off. It got to be so lopsided. 44-3, to the Lions beat Toronto. I don't know another storyline coming out of week three in the CFL besides Nathan Rourke, and nothing even really hits me. I know. I mean, it's big enough. It's great. But now they're, oh, he's going to the NFL. I saw Farhan Lalji. I'm sorry to laugh, but it's laughable. Farhan, the TSN, good friend of ours, but the TSN Bureau Chief for Vancouver going, enjoy him now. Okay, he's 2-0, and guys. Come on, just settle down. I know. I said that in week one. I said, he's a great story. I said, he's not going to win MOP or anything in year two, but he's a great story. And then you see this happen in week two, and he throws for almost 500 yards, four, what was it, 460 or 480-something, and um, the touchdowns, it leads him to be a victory. I'm like, this guy could win MOP. But again, it's just two weeks. You know, we talk about breaking the season and the league into thirds, right? Every six games. So we'll see what happens when we get to that first third of the season, if he's still on this pace, still doing well. But one thing that goes unnoticed is, yeah, okay, maybe you haven't played the creme de la creme of the Canadian Football League, but your defense has played pretty well too. We don't talk about that, just holding them to three points. I mean, Toronto's not Calgary or Winnipeg, you know, or even Saskatchewan. But that's a pretty good job by that BC defense. Look, we're longtime CFL people, so I get it. Um, the football guys are saying, you know, pump the brakes. It's only week two. And that's kind of what I'm saying. But I'm seeing what the players or former players are putting on social media. They're like, when do the BC Lions become the CFL's best team? And I'm like, again, stop. Nathan Rourke to the NFL. Okay, Jeff Garcia. Won Grey Cups before he went to the NFL. This kid's won two 
games, and you've got him going to Canton. Like, stop. I haven't even written down what week three is. I don't even know what the week three, or sorry, the week four is. I don't even know what the week four games are. But again, here's what I have here, point three of my quick six show topics are week three CFL buzz. Montreal beat Saskatchewan 37-13. Winnipeg beat Hamilton 26-12, which, by the way, I watched that one too. And they're talking about this whiteout. So I'm expecting the Blue Bombers to take to the field in all Stormtrooper outfits, like what Saskatchewan debuted in 2013. I'm texting my buddies in Winnipeg. I'm like, "Where's what's this whiteout thing? And they're like, no, 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 no. They wore the same uniforms that they wore in the Grey Cup the last two years and asked everybody in the crowd to wear white. From a slap shot line, that's not much to go on, Reggie. Approve. You know, Right. And then uh, Calgary beat Edmonton 30-13, to and the BC Lions wall up Toronto 44-3. I don't want to gloss over the Calgary thing because you wanted to talk about this today, Moose. The tailgating. Ooh. I had a buddy, Glenn, who said, come find me at my tailgate spot. It's in the southeast corner. I'm thinking, ah, that won't be hard. Moose and I will roll in 20 minutes before kickoff, and it should be easy to find. Nope. Not so much. It was, it's wild. Um, it had been years since I had done the tailgating thing and been to Calgary. And we were on, what were we, on the east side of the stadium? Yep. When I did, it was on the, I, I went to the west side, and I saw a little bit of that. It didn't look anything like this. I mean, the tailgating in Calgary outside McMahon Stadium is NFL worthy. It's NFL caliber. I mean, obviously, yep. volume is a little bigger in the NFL for sure. And some a little more elaborate setups and things like that. But it's NFL quality. I mean, it is a vibe. It is a serious vibe when you get in there, walk around. It makes you feel good. Everybody's in a good mood. They got the barbecues going. They're playing catch. Everybody's in red and white. And it is big, man. It goes all the way around. And, like, I was blown away. They And then... I get, we get around and we get towards the, the grass and the little walking path, you know, in the southeast corner. And then you see that the stamps have their official tailgate, stage, band, you know, everything down there. I'm like, they got that too? Yeah. I'm like, this is great. And there was people down there. It was awesome. Really, really cool. Weather is a very big factor, obviously. Again, a hot, sunny day, a beautiful summer day. I said to Darren, this is the perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. Right. Not too hot, but you're warm. You're in shirt sleeves. And yeah, it was NFL caliber. And I've been to NFL tailgate everywhere. So hats off to the Calgary Stampeders. They are by far and away the CFL's best tailgate. So that was awesome. And then we got into the stadium. And again, you're looking, we're looking at the Elks. They're in their gold. You know, the sun splashed Chris Jones, the head coach, you know, and I'm and I'm like, where's Duran? Where's Duran? I'm looking for my guy Duran. I can't find him. So I look at the roster, I'm like, he's not playing? If Deron Carter's not playing, I don't want to be here. So the game was at least good, but I wanted to see my guy DC, which his injury must be serious because he never gets hurt. And now he's missed three straight. So come on, Deron. We're pulling for you. Deron Strong. Yeah. Let's get the hashtag <laughs> going. Uh, Arlen Bruce the third watching. AB3 says, I got a chance to witness Nathan Rourke and the BC Lions live at BC Place. His game is similar to Marcus Mariota. Uh, he's good. Good job, Rod and Dupes. That's from Marlon Bruce. Adam in Hamilton's watching. He says, last time I checked, the BC Lions have more than one player on the team. They look great. I know, but this isn't peewee hockey. He's the guy that's making everybody talk, sit up and right Without Nathan Rourke, they're not 2-0. and oh. That's a fact, Jack. So let us all have our fun. When we come back, we'll talk Memorial Cup, more Stanley Cup. A little Wimbledon for you. Hey, hey. Blue Jays, we're halfway through the Quick 6 show topics, and we are live from the Great Eagle Resort and Casino Event Center. You're watching on the Game Plus TV network, YouTube live streaming, and 24-hour sports radio streaming now at rodpeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now.
throws 713 yards in a single pro football game. A legend wins three Great Cup MVP awards. Allen looking deep. A legend scores 1,209 points in 1,127 NHL games. Play among legends at betregal.net. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG. Always delivering the best fan experience. Find us at ddgregina.com. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Experts in all residential and commercial plumbing services and proudly serving Regina and area since 1978. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'll treat you right. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital GMC. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a GM-certified pre-owned vehicle that's on our lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital GMC. Your adventure starts here. Hey, Rod Squad. Now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show. Official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with the Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and the Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show. The Rod Peterson Show. Well, what a beautiful sunny day here on the foothills. Gray Eagle Resort and Casino, the place to be. Yeah, we're going to be here for a while. Uh, gracious host. Hey, coming up, we've been moved over to the event center. You might see, over, well, you probably will, rotating over my shoulder here. The Beach Boys coming July 28th. Randy Hauser, July 29th. The Tea Party with special guest, the Headpins. Actually, Nazareth with special guest, the Headpins, August 12th. Dancing Queen, a tribute to ABBA, August 13th. Bare Naked Ladies, August 20th. So check it out, Great Eagle Resort and Casino.ca. Before I switch That's gears hot. to the hockey, Ted in Red Deer watching, he says, beautiful day, Chris Jones dressed in black with long sleeves and a coat, face burnt red, gotta love Jonesy. Um, I was watching from the west side of the stadium with Moose, and I'm looking at Jones on this hot day, and I'm like, to quote my mom, he's going to catch his death out there. <laughs> He's the only guy in the place wearing long sleeves. Okay? I know. I know. He don't care. It ain't Tennessee. That's right. Mike Horrigan in Toronto says, our nose. Our nose. Get oh, it? Not wow. Argos. Yeah. Great game by Nathan Rourke. I'm excited about that, dude. A 9 0 So they continue to fight over the hometown of Nathan Rourke, and that's fine. And, uh, by the way, I mentioned our, our live studio audience here. We have a friend of John Lynch's here, and I, John Frenzy. And at the soccer game on Sunday, I was doing John Lynch commentary of the soccer game in the stands at Atco Field, and I didn't realize how loud I was. <laughs> so, because, listen, I had a really good game of the soccer. I didn't even talk enough about that. 
it's not just about the game on the field, although there was a lot of action on the field, but from the minute you get out of your car in the parking lot, it's nonstop music everywhere, thumping, partying. Yeah. You get into the, your seats, same thing. They're chanting, they're singing. Ooh, big hit on the field. Da da da, Marco Caducci. I'm like, who's Marco Caducci? They're like, he's the goalie for Calgary. Oh, okay. And I'm like, very physical game down there. And so, <laughs> some guy turned to me and he goes, ooh, you're good. And I'm like, I'm just faking it. I'm just faking it. So I'm really getting into the soccer. Dale in Winnipeg writes in and he says, good Monday to all of you. Last week of school for Jack, that's his son. Grade five, here we come. Four days till first camping in a year plus. Awesome show as always. Be well, crew. Thank you, Dale in Winnipeg. Take your phone with you and stream on the campsite, the RP Show Daily on YouTube Live. I told you, Moose, we had a lot to get to today. Have yes. I got you convinced to go to uh, soccer yet? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Be a business things that you want to do. Well, sometime. Like, I, you know, we had such a packed weekend. I wanted to carve out a little time just to, you know, get my head into the business stuff and go and sit on the patio and have a little coffee and, and do that. And I'm glad I did. But I do want to make sure we get, I get to the soccer game. There are too. sports things to do. Every single day. Yeah. So I said to Moose, I'll be doing sports things every single day. You just come along when you want. Well, and even on that vein, when we were in Banff, we curled right up on the outfield fence and watched slow a pitch. baseball slow pitch game, you know, for, yeah. uh, for uh, about 40 minutes. It was awesome. And there was tennis going on. Oh, it's great. By the way, our Stanley Cup coverage is brought to you by Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. And congratulations to the Avalanche fans over there at Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. They're pretty much all Avalanche fans, except for the boss, Cam Co., who I never really get out of him who his favorite team is. I think it's the Montreal Canadiens. But his, for his staff primarily his sons, it's all the Colorado Avalanche. So congratulations, boys. Bronco Plumbing and Heating, to schedule maintenance or to learn more about our services, call 306-781-2090 or visit us at broncoplumbing.com. We got through the CFL buzz, so to point four, the Memorial Cup. One of the toughest hockey trophies to win will be presented Wednesday night in St. John, New Brunswick. The host St. John Sea Dogs are in the national championship final, and they'll find out who their opponent will be tonight when the Quebec champion Shawinigan Cataract play the Ontario champion Hamilton Bulldogs. It is 4 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Atlantic. TSN has it, and I got to say, sucks that the Edmonton Oil Kings are out, and they're already home, obviously. Gone home. You don't yeah. stick around for the weekend when, you're, when you lose out. It looks like a major party. The host team's already gone to the final. Can you imagine what that city's going through? It's a dream for that city. It's a dream scenario. The host organizing committee, the team, the CHL, really, it's a dream. Because, I mean, the competition has been so good. And I love that the St. John story. They had all the time off. They switched their coach. And this guy's awesome. I Gardner knew, McDougall? I knew him from, you know, the UNB days. What a time. lid on that guy. That guy's hairline comes down right here. Oh, Gardner McDougall. And it's thick and it's per And the, mus the mustache is just as thick and perfect, Looks too. like a hedgehog. Like, he is... Perfect. Like, he's just like, <laughs> perfect, this guy. And then did you hear him talking about Lady Mo in the post-game press Momentum? conference? Yeah. No, I didn't. He said, we got a lot of ladies in our lives. We got special ladies. We got, you know, mothers and daughters and wives and sisters, and we love our ladies. And he's like, but tonight we had a special lady with us. It was Lady Mo. And they all start laughing. It's, nobody's heard a speech like this, right? Lady Mo was on their side. They had four straight goals, but... He's entertaining, but he's a winner. I mean, at UNB, they built a powerhouse. All they do is win and win national championships. So he brought that culture to St. John's, and they jo he joked his phone rang in the press conference. Gardner's, Gardner's did, and he apologized. He's like, I don't know if that's my wife calling now or if that's the Winnipeg Jets, he said. Oh, yeah. Well, from what I understand, when he coached in the SJ, he was a beauty. They loved him. And, but for our Eastern Canadian viewers out there in the Maritimes, they will say it's, I got to do this. St. John, St. John's is Newfoundland. Big, dis the big difference. Right, where they watch us out there on East Link Cable. I get messages from them all the time. So, yeah, it's uh, Hamilton versus Shawinigan tonight for the right to play the host St. John Sea Dogs Wednesday in the final. By the way, Clark, who do we have first? Do we have Dregs first or Bernie Nichols first? Okay, Bernie's coming up next. So next hour we'll be going live to St. John to chat with Darren Dreger from the Memmer. It just looks like so much fun. 
On the football thing, uh, Phil Kershaw's watching out in Victoria. He says Nathan Rourke will definitely get NFL looks after this season. He won three bowl games at Ohio. Great arm, can move, smart. My son, the NCAA coach, is very high on him, and I agree with him and Farhan. Sure, but he went to New York Giants camp and had to try out as a receiver, correct? So there... Every player in the CFL is getting NFL looks. Every one. There's no secrets anymore. So, again, everybody in the CFL is getting NFL looks is my point. And that's awesome. It's awesome. And I'm not trying to pee-pee, poo-poo on the great start of Nathan Rourke. But he's started two games, and he's going to the NFL. Come on, you guys. I'm getting caught up in the moment. Jason in Red Deer writes in, he says, Rod, I missed the game, unfortunately. How did Bo look? Well, look, clearly, Jason, you didn't read my column on the weekend. I'm shocked that you didn't at rodpeterson.com, 10 weekend things. Darren and I were strolling around the tailgating uh, before the game Saturday, NFL caliber tailgating at Stampeders games, and we get a notification on my phone from TSN, Bo Levi Mitchell will start his 150th career game. I turn to him and I'm like, did we even think that he wouldn't? Like, what are we doing here? And I said, and I put in the column, that I think Bo enjoys the drama of the will he or won't he. Full disclosure, I've never met the man. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. But it's like, it would have been news if he wasn't playing. Right? Yes. And how did he look? He looked fine. He looked fine. Started slow. But then he got rolling and had 350 yards and did his thing and touchdown pass and and Calgary was able to win that football game. But no, he looked fine. I thought he moved okay. Um, seemed to be fine. He was a little frustrated early. It was again slow start, but once he got into a rhythm, no, he looked great. If he's a little nicked up, he doesn't want to give Jake Mayer an opportunity to take over that job. He's a competitor. He's a proud guy. He wants his position right, and he goes out and wins football games, and he won another one. Uh, Andrew Stout. Writes in, one of the viewers in the chat, Bonjour Rod et mes amis, and my friends. I am thrilled for our Terry Lekkonen on winning the cup. He was pretty emotional when interviewed on RDS when asked about his Canadiens teammate. Now on to the draft and free agency. Never slows down, right? And this is where I have gotten mad at the CFL and I still get mad at themselves that they would go dormant for six months because now they're in the mess that they're in. Uh, I was telling you earlier and I can't find it in my sports update here. Oh, here it is. He says what's up next in the NHL, the draft, free agency. Yes. But the Hockey Hall of Fame and the executive director of their museum watches this show every day. Craig, I don't know if he's back from uh, handing out the cup last night. Right? Him and Phil. Yeah. They travel around with a cup. The Hockey Hall of Fame will introduce its class of 2022 this afternoon. They have barely even handed the cup out, and they're announcing this. Former Vancouver Canucks greats Daniel and Henrik Sedin, goaltender Roberto Luongo, former Detroit Red Wings winger Henrik Zetterberg, and four-time Olympic gold medalist Carolyn Ouellette are among those players eligible for induction for the first time. So when we were strolling around the stadium in Calgary on, well, uh, with him Saturday and then with the soccer stadium yesterday with Abu, I said, I didn't get a, I'm mad that the CFL has lost its perception of a big-time league. And I, for that, I blame the people that aren't even in the league now, the people that have allowed this to happen over the last 20 years. Because 20 years ago, when you were in the CFL, it was a big deal. Now it's not really a big deal. It's looked upon as a second-rate league, and it's nobody's fault. It's sure as hell's not the player's fault. It's not the coach's fault. And I don't think in a lot of ways it's the current marketing staff. But for the last 20 years, they've allowed it to slide. And to, and, and to bring it back up is monumental. It can be done. Mm-hmm. It can be done. But you have to start somewhere. It's the perception. Because the NHL still didn't you Was it your term? Tier 1 league? Yes. They just handed out the cup last night. And today they're announcing the Hall of Fame. And the CFL inducts two classes at once 10 days ago, and then they're going to announce or induct another class in September. Who's making these decisions? Talk about getting lost in the shuffle. It, it does. It gets lost. And then when they're doing it, it loses the momentum, right, when you build up towards and it's, the it's, Hall of Fame. It's game. specialness. And, and the specialness of it, for sure. Like, you know, 
we didn't really realize that these guys were going in at that game in Hamilton, right? That it was happening already. Wasn't a lot of buildup to it. The announcement was great. We knew that was coming because we have friends in the, in the class, you know, and it was a big deal, you know, hearing Nick Lewis was going to be, con- you know, inducted and we congratulated him. But the game just kind of came and went. We had the poll, what's the biggest storyline going into week two? Finishing dead last in the voting was the Hall of Fame game. So just to give you that annoys me that this has been allowed to happen. And I don't see the effort, the recovery effort. I don't see it. So it really ticks me off. Uh, We got to pick it up here, Moose. By the way, our junior hockey coverage is brought to you by Cavendish Farms, proud supporters of junior hockey in Canada. Point five, play begins today at Wimbledon with the men's single star Novak Djokovic on center court as he opens his bid for a fourth consecutive title at the All England Club. He hasn't played yet, has he? Uh, I think he's on the court. He's on now? Yeah. Okay. He's the first seed. Daniel Medvedev is barred along with all of their players from Russia and Belarus. And second-ranked uh, Alex Zarev is injured. The Blue Jays begin a seven-game homestand tonight, and coaches are scrambling to find a cure for their current skid. They've lost 7 to 10. As the Red Sox and Tampa Bay Rays uh, visit Rogers Center this week, Red Sox visit Monday to Wednesday. Rays visit Thursday to Sunday. Jays have slipped into third in the American League East with Tampa. We covered a lot here, Moose. We'll cover more when you join us next you hour. Bet. Darren Dreger's coming, on, coming up in hour two. But next... Broadway, Bernie Nichols to put a capper on the Stanley Cup playoffs and maybe look ahead to next year. You're watching the RP Show live from the Great Eagle Resort and Casino Event Center in Calgary on Game Plus Television, YouTube Live, and 24-hour sports radio at rodpeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with The Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and the Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show, The Rod Peterson Show. Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital GMC. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a GM-certified pre-owned vehicle that's on our lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital GMC. Your adventure starts here. Hey, Rod Squad, now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show, official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Experts in all residential and commercial plumbing services and proudly serving Regina and area since 1978. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'll treat you right. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies like Henry. 
There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Here's how your business can be a part of Canada's fastest growing sports talk show. All you have to do is contact us and we will tell you all about the dynamic and exciting marketing opportunities we have utilizing a fully integrated 360 degree multi-platform. Imagine your business seen and heard across Canada on Game Plus TV and around the world on the Rod Peterson Digital Network. You will use one of the most overused expressions in sports. You gotta be kidding me. Get your business involved. Contact the Rod Peterson Show today. Looking live at the beautiful Gray Eagle Resort and Casino Event Center. We've switched locations for the week. We're just inside those doors for the complete lineup of acts. Go to GrayEagleResortandCasino.ca. By the way, we're brought to you in part by Taco Time as well. Real food, real value, real flavor. Well, the hockey season isn't over. The Memorial Cup will be handed out Wednesday, but the NHL season is. And joining us to put a wrapper on it is the NHL ambassador for Bet Regal, our exclusive betting partner, Bernie Nichols, who joins us from Southern Ontario today. And hey, Bernie, uh, it's all over. Six games it took Colorado to knock off the Tampa Bay Lightning. What's your reflections on this series? Yeah, uh, like my mom always said, Rod, today's like the worst day ever, right? There's no more hockey till probably October, and it's just a sad day for hockey fans. Um, but you know what? Uh, what a great series. And and if you just look back at uh, a lot of the series that went on, Edmonton-Calgary was unbelievable. Uh, Calgary-Dallas uh, was unbelievable. Um, uh, Colorado, Edmonton, and that's just in in the the West here, out east. You know, the Toronto, Tampa Bay was unbelievable. Uh, you know, Tampa, forgetting they they've been in the Cup three years in a row, and that's it, it's unbelievable. And I think what what people are going to understand uh, when you hear the injuries that both teams would have, but just how great of athletes these guys really are. And and I'm not saying that because I was a an NHL player, but like, there's not a tougher sport in, in the world than playing uh, hockey and especially playoff times. Like these guys, what they, the, uh, the will to play and compete, it, it's so good. And, and just, you're, you're just excited as a former player to watch these guys last night, to battle through the injuries and just, just to compete. Like it's just, I'm just proud to be a former player. It was just amazing. The, the whole series was you know, Tampa just ran out of gas. Like, not that uh, they, they they probably couldn't beat uh, Colorado anyways. They're they're so good. Colorado's so good, and but boy, they they battle hard, and and you got to be proud if you're a Tampa Bay player or even a fan today for sure. It's interesting when you talk about the injuries. I remember last year at this time, and we hadn't had you on a year ago, but when we found out what Shea Weber was battling through, I'm like, how did the guy even get out of bed in the morning, let alone he hasn't played since? Carey Price, same thing. I mean, oh, man. Yeah, I am interested to hear what both teams and sides have gone through. But um, in your mind... And you know what's amazing about that, Rod, and just real what? quick, I'll never forget that as a player, right? Like, you, an, an athlete's mind is so powerful. It's like uh you just know right your body knows that you got to go work every other day and it's programs for that and uh it just knows to get up i know for a fact those players today probably both teams uh like when they get up this morning their body's just saying no way there's no chance in hell <laughs> it can move right like it just it just knows enough to it can shut down now because and you just wonder I, I would just I would love for an average person just to experience the, what what these players go through, but th their mind is so powerful. It just tells you today it shuts down, and and you couldn't. They'll be lucky if they can even get out of bed. Some of those guys today they cannot even move. So it, it's yeah. just a credit to those guys. It, it just your mind's so powerful, and it hurts especially more when you don't win, right? But uh, you know you you look at. Bet Regal, you could put some money down on next year's Stanley Cup champion already. And I'll just ask you this. Colorado looks like a team that's built to win for a long time. Oh, no, they do. Uh, like Kyle McCarr, like for people who 
didn't really get to see him. I know he played out West and, and that's the problem with the people from the East sometimes is they don't get to see how talented guys out West are. That kid is like, he's Bobby Orr, right? Like Bobby, uh, he may be hunting down some of Bobby's records. He's just that good. Uh, I've never seen a, a forward that good. Uh, that Norris trophy, I think will be staying with him for a long time. Uh, McKinnon played unbelievable. Their team is young and they're really good. Uh, I'm still on the fence a little bit about their goalie, but I mean, got the job done, uh, played very well when, when he had to, but their team's going to be around for a long time. Absolutely. And, you know, Darcy Kemper, he's not going to make any apologies to anybody. He'll be bringing the Stanley Cup home this summer. You're right. He did the job that he was asked to do. But, you know, I saw on one of the networks, and maybe you did too, the top three teams to win the Stanley Cup next year, the odds are out, Colorado, Tampa Bay, or Toronto. I know you love to talk about the Leafs. Do you think this painful loss this year to Tampa will spur them next year to a Cup win or a little further anyways in the playoffs? Well, uh, they're as good as, as any team up front. Uh, I still say they're, they're weak, not goaltending on the back end. Like you, you look at Tampa Bay, how, how big. I, I believe Tampa will be there again for sure. Um, but I don't know. Toronto has a, a great offensive core, and, and they're deep this year. They, they were deep, but I still think they're weak in the back end. And if they fix that up, then they will have a chance to compete for the Cup. Uh, anything else on these uh, Stanley Cup playoffs? Man, they went by in a blink, didn't they? They did. Uh, I was hoping for seven like probably everybody else. Uh, you can't get enough of that hockey. It's it's just amazing. And and like I said, just, just proud to be a part of that brotherhood so to speak it's just uh to be uh an nhl player they're they're just great athletes they, they put on a great show from the start of the playoffs to the last game was unbelievable hockey so playoff hockey is just a different animal to begin with and uh they definitely showed it this year it was it was a great great cup run for everybody well, I should mention, actually, before I let you go, that they will hand out the general manager of the year, the Jim Gregory Award, on the night of the first round of the NHL draft. It's got to be Joe Sackick, I would think. Well, I, uh, I hope so. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play against Joe. I'm a huge fan. He was such a great player. Um, and what he done with him, uh, you know, they always say, well, you need the players, but yeah, but you need to, to put the pieces together. And he did that really well this year. Uh, I would love to see him win that for sure. Last week, I mentioned the streaming series winning time, the rise of the Lakers. I guess it's Crave. You can get it in Canada. It's America, HBO Max. Did you get a chance to check it out? I haven't. I was just actually in New York. Uh, Man, it took me to New York for my birthday. We drove there for the weekend, went to a Yankees game. Uh, but I was told that. I was told by somebody else, too, I got to watch it. So especially when I was there for that run in the 80s and, and got to know Jerry Buss and a lot of the players. So I'm kind of really looking forward to seeing that. Well, you let me know when you do. I want to talk about it on here. Bernie, enjoy the summer. Okay. This has been awesome. Uh, we'll catch up in, in the fall, man. Thanks for all you do for us. Absolutely right. I really appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Looking Thanks, forward to doing it again. NHL, absolutely. NHL ambassador for Bet Regal. Bernie Nichols joining us from Southern Ontario, New York, and L.A. Great. Some other stops, too. Chicago, San Jose, Edmonton. But we think of him as a king and a ranger. Taco Time viewer takeovers coming up next. I should mention, if you sign up for a membership at Bet Regal, and that's the way that you play there, use the promo code LEGENDS, and you'll receive a cash bonus from our exclusive betting partner, Bet Regal. We'll be right back. You're watching on Game Plus TV, YouTube Live, and you can always catch the podcast wherever you enjoy your podcasts, including Amazon, Google, Apple, Stitcher, and Spotify. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now.
legend throws 713 yards in a single pro football game. A legend wins three Grey Cup MVP awards. Allen looking deep. A legend scores 1,209 points in 1,127 NHL games. Play among legends at betregal.net. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital GMC. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a GM-certified pre-owned vehicle that's on our lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital GMC. Your adventure starts here. Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. Here's how your business can be a part of Canada's fastest growing sports talk show. All you have to do is contact us and we will tell you all about the dynamic and exciting marketing opportunities we have utilizing a fully integrated 360 degree multi-platform. Imagine your business seen and heard across Canada on Game Plus TV and around the world on the Rod Peterson Digital Network. You will use one of the most overused expressions in sports. You gotta be kidding me. Get your business involved. Contact the Rod Peterson Show today. It's what we call Taco Time Viewer Takeover. Welcome inside the Great Eagle Resort and Casino Event Center. That's where we're at. It's supposed to be a real nice week. But a lot cloudier today than it was uh, on the weekend. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. It is, as I say, Taco Time Viewer Takeover. They're not tater tots. They're Mexi fries, moose and knife. Check that out for ourselves at Chinook Center on Saturday. And I'm, I'm getting it now. Tater tots are far greasier than uh, Mexi fries. That's what I think the biggest difference is. Um, boy, apologize to those in the chat that we are being taken over by bots, but not much we can do about that, right, Clark? Apparently that says that we've hit the big time when, when that happens, so just look around them, please. The text line is open on this Monday, 902-518-3033. Oh, there's a guy here, Wayne, one of our live studio audiences. Jeff the Stamps fan has written in. I understood you, you stiffed him, Je uh, Jeff the Stamps fan. We have a Ryder fan here was looking for you Saturday at the game. He says, how about the second best performance of the CFL in week three? Malik Henry, six for 873 yards and a touchdown. Good point. 
we were talking about what was the biggest storyline coming out of week three. It remains Nathan Rourke, who apparently is headed to the NFL. <clears throat> That's what they say. Jeff in Hamilton. Jeff Y writes in on the 902 line, and he says, Hey, Rod, I saw that Simone Lawrence was quite triggered by Coach Reinbold's comments about him on the show Friday. I'm not sure why Jeff wasn't wrong. Truth hurts, maybe? As the veteran guy in Hamilton, we need him to step it up. He needs to stop complaining on Twitter and put that energy on the field. Oh, we don't have time today for a, a counseling session, okay, on Simone Lawrence getting triggered by what Jeff Reinbold said the other day. Oh, boy. What do we say? <laughs> I talked to Reinbold about it briefly over the weekend. And for those that don't know, the iconic CFL special teams coach was with us on Friday from Hawaii. And he said, if I, to paraphrase, that Simone Lawrence, the Ticats linebacker and defensive leader, has been invisible so far. The Ticats number 21 went ballistic, ballistic on Twitter at Reinbold. Um, triggered if it's true. And it's not like he went out and did anything on Friday night when the Ticats lost at Winnipeg 26 to 12. But uh, sometimes when you look at criticism, you need to go, is it true? And if it's not, toss it out. Bingo! Right? We uh, are fans of Canadian sport. In the Canadian Elite Basketball League on Sunday, the Saskatchewan Rattlers offense was clicking with their three-point shooting. They beat the Montreal Alliance 98-86 at Sastel Center. Elsewhere, Fraser Valley snuck away with a 94-92 win over the Newfoundland Growlers on home court to extend their winning streak to five. The expansion Newfoundland team is 0-8. Fraser Valley, first place in the CEBL at 8-2. And, and tonight, the Scarborough Shooting Stars will look to stay hot at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Center as they host the Ottawa Blackjacks at 7.30 Eastern. Scarborough defeated the Blackjacks 98-81 in Ottawa. On June 2nd, the Shooting Stars enter tonight's game on a short turnaround after beating the Hamilton Honey Badgers on Saturday, 75-72. More than four months after she was arrested at a Moscow airport for cannabis possession, American basketball star Brittany Griners appear, is scheduled to appear in court today in Russia for a preliminary hearing ahead of her trial. Listen to this. The Phoenix Mercury star could face 10 years in prison if convicted on charges of large-scale transportation of drugs. Fewer than 1% of defendants in Russian criminal cases are acquitted. I'll say it again. Fewer than 1% of defendants in Russian criminal cases are acquitted. Drugs kill dreams. Right-hander Kevin Gosman gets the start as the Blue Jays begin an eight-game homestand by hosting the Boston Red Sox tonight at Rogers Center. The Jays have dropped seven of their last eight. They sit tied for fourth now in the American League East, one and a half games behind the second-place Red Sox. 12 and a half back of the division leading New York Yankees. This sports update proudly brought to you by Ballers Rec Room, your official home of slow pitch open Wednesday to Sunday. Watch for details of the RP show party at Ballers coming up this November. Also for the tab, brew house and drive through liquor store and for Red Bull Canada. Red Bull gives you wings. The Moose will be with us in hour two here at Gray Eagle and TSN NHL insider Darren Dreger live from the member. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back after this break here on Game Plus TV. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital Ford. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a pre-owned vehicle that's already on the lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital Ford Lincoln. Your adventure starts here. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Experts in all residential and commercial plumbing services and proudly serving Regina and area since 1978. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'll treat you right. Does this look familiar? 
Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Find us at ddgregina.com. squad now you can join the team with your very own rp show gear head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last it's just like we wear on the show official rp show gear at rodpetersonshop.com universal collision center is saskatchewan's premier auto body shop our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes to our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every ucc customer experience is an easy one we're certified to repair all makes all models and all luxury brands and universal auto spa offers full service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle plus we're the official body shop of your saskatchewan rough riders universal collision center 3910 rochdale boulevard and 2355 first avenue in regina Legend throws 713 yards in a single pro football game. A legend wins three Grey Cup MVP awards. Allen looking deep. A legend scores 1,209 points in 1,127 NHL games. Play among legends at betregal.net. Here's how your business can be a part of Canada's fastest growing sports talk show. All you have to do is contact us and we will tell you all about the dynamic and exciting marketing opportunities we have utilizing a fully integrated 360 degree multi-platform. Imagine your business seen and heard across Canada on Game Plus TV and around the world on the Rod Peterson Digital Network. You will use one of the most overused expressions in sports. You gotta be kidding me. Get your business involved. Contact the Rod Peterson Show today. 3rd best city in the world to live in, Calgary, Alberta, behind Vienna, Austria, and Copenhagen, Denmark. But look around. Uh, oh, my kids are here. My, my kids are here. I'm still in Regina. But I remember my kids both had, one had dance practice and one had soccer practice. Both at 5 o'clock on opposite ends of the city. No other city in the world can get them both there on time. Every city is great for different reasons. This is the Rod Peterson Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome into Hour 2 of the RP Show. For those watching, you'll see that we're in a new environment uh, here this Monday, episode number 787. We're still at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino, but we've been moved over to the event center. This is the uh, concert hall, the theater end of the thing, and this is where all the shows happen. This is where the action goes down. And if you're listening on podcasts, which thousands of people do, uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. As we welcome in, I guess I should turn your mic up, eh, Moose? Good idea. Darren Moose DuPont. Director Jordan told me, what did you say? He was, it was too loud to turn it down a little? Is that what you said, Jordan? Or turn him up? Okay. Do you remember, were you at the 3 o'clock position, 2.30, <laughs> 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock on this dial? I'm not you? sure. I sound a little quieter in my own head. So this is probably pretty good. I, oh, okay. He says this is good. Okay. That's good. This is always so much fun. I mean, last hour we had our exclusive betting partner, NHL ambassador Bernie Nichols with us, and we talked Stanley Cup playoffs and a look ahead to next year. And to be honest, Bernie speaks for a lot of us hockey fans and hardcores that he said it's depressing. He goes, it's over. <laughs> right? And he's right. Yeah. It's Because to be honest, free agency, the Hockey Hall of Fame announcement this afternoon, the draft, it just doesn't wet the whistle like games. You know what I mean? I know. You can sit and BS and poke around, but it's not the same. But, hey, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. We're talking about the Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup in game six on Sunday night with a 2-1 victory over the Tampa Bay Lightning. And if it's not, like, do you think the Leafs will win the Stanley Cup next year? 
No. Okay. <laughs> it's our poll question, by the way, before we go any further for Capital Auto Mall Universal Collision Center, just because I saw it on one of the sports networks this morning. Who do you think will win the Stanley Cup next year? And their top three options they had were Colorado, Tampa Bay, Toronto, or other. And running away with it is other. And I mean, it just ended last night. I don't even want to think about who's going to win it next year. There's going to be a lot of good teams. Okay. There's going to be a lot of good teams. And we're going to talk about some CFL stuff too, but I feel like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of topics to get to. This is why I say this is so much fun in hour two. Darren and I had our say in hour one, and then we kind of turn it over into the viewers here in hour two with whatever you folks would like to talk about. And that includes Sharon, who is watching from her campsite, Sharon Burling. She sent this photo in, and producer Clark has it. I don't know if that came up in the WhatsApp or the 902 uh, text line, but have a look at your monitor, Moose. She's got us on Whoa. at the campsite, and how beautiful is that? And Sharon, you tell us what you would like us to talk about here right now. I think it, it might be the Canadian Football League. There was some consternation over the weekend going, you guys are talking too much CFL. It's a hockey country. We have people saying we don't talk about it enough. How about... We'll just talk about what we want to talk about, and hopefully, hopefully people find it entertaining. That's right. How about that? Yeah. But it, that's the beautiful thing about streaming, man. People are just getting on to it. You can watch us anywhere. Take us anywhere. And thank you, Sharon, for watching, and thanks for sending us the photo. Now, Donna's watching. Donna Berger, she writes in, in Central Butte, and she says, looking forward to the game Saturday. Finally have a day off. She's talking about the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Montreal Ottawa Saturday at Mosaic Stadium. John in Edmonton says, Edmonton football fans are already saying this season is over for the team. But not me. <laughs> That's what you... People are saying you're ugly, Darren, but I'm not. Okay. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I like you. No. Listen, I know... So is it over or is it not over? I know... Don't listen to what people say about you. I still like you. I think that's what my guy Brian in uh, Florida says is toxic positivity. Isn't that what we call toxic positivity? That's everybody's talking junk about you. Like nobody likes you, but I do. (laughs) Okay, I will say this about the Edmonton Elks and Chris Jones. I mean, the Stamps gave us free tickets, so I felt some sort of obligation to cheer for the Calgary Stampeders, but it's hard when I'm seeing my guy Jones on the sidelines and he's, he's huffing and puffing. He's storming up and down. He's a caricature. Yes. He's so entertaining. Yes. I was hoping to run into him at the hotel on Saturday, which incidentally Moose and I drove around just trying to find a coffee shop that would have an outdoor patio. If that was, if it was nice enough or an indoor and we went to the Starbucks in the, hotel that hosts pretty much all the CFL teams Saturday and I never even here in Calgary and I never even thought about it being the Elks Hotel I didn't okay but we ran into all their staff and how cool was that that was cool they were all there some were getting coffee some were out for their morning walk doing their thing but they all wanted to say hi yeah we got some photos with some of them and that was cool but I think Edmonton, I don't know if they're going to be fine. I'll be honest, they're probably going to miss the playoffs. Maybe those fans are right. But let's see. They lost 59-19, 26-16, and then 30-13. So the gap is narrowing. Yeah. They beat the spread on Saturday, which, trust me, I've been around these guys long enough to know they don't care. Jones don't care. But it's an indication to me that they're getting better. What do you think? They are getting better. They started the game strong. And, you know, I thought it was an interesting game. Um, Calgary did a really good job of shutting down Kenny Lawler in that game. Mm-hmm. They didn't do a lot. But then, but then Manny Arsenault stepped up and had a really good game and seems to have turned the clock back. So that's a really good thing. Edmonton still can't run the ball, but there's some, a lot of room to improve, you know, for Edmonton. But you're right. They're getting better. And as we've known... Jones, with his teams, they get better. Not always throughout the season, but definitely over time, they get better. Year over year. Year over year, they get better. And we're seeing this now week over week. This team is improving. So I'm going to sprinkle in viewer comments as we do. And let's hear from some new people, too. If you're camping or who knows, you're watching anywhere across North America, you can 
write in on the YouTube chat or text us, 902-518-3033, on whatever you want to talk about. But it is summer. Uh, Frankly, we are in Canada. People want to talk about the CFL. Arlen Bruce says, July 31st, Bruce Stampede in Bruce, Alberta. I want to go. I attended last year. They say it's better than the Calgary Stampede. A.B., nothing's better than the Calgary Stampede. Nothing. That's why they call it the greatest outdoor show in the world. There isn't anything better than the Calgary Stampede. Uh, or so I've been told, but this is the first year that I've ever been able to go. How many times have I been, uh, you've been around me a lot here, and people say, yeah. how have you never been to the Calgary Stampede? Because I spent my entire adult life working in the Canadian Football League. And CFL and Calgary Stampede don't go together. The Stamps leave town when the Stampede's on. They have to. That's right. Um, Mandy in Edmonton says, good day. Hope you all enjoyed the weekend. When is Demetrius Maxi coming on the show, Rod? Well, D-Max might come on the show, probably will come on the show. I talked to the Elks PR guy on the weekend. Uh, he was more excited about when we we're going to come up to Edmonton. He's like, let us know when you're coming to Edmonton, which yeah. we will be. Stay tuned for that. But not all talks need to be on the air. Uh, Demetrius Maxi and I embraced uh, Darren saw it all. We talked old times. He said, if I'd had a son, which I didn't, but if I'd had a son, he wanted the boy to be named Orlando. That came up the other day. I said, why did you want me to name a son Orlando? He goes, because that's my middle name. He kissed me. And he hugged you. Yes. First time him and I had ever met. <laughs> that's right. He's that kind of guy. We're tight now. He's that kind of guy. Great guy. Great guy. Uh, I'm, I'm one day at a time. I'm getting to your comments. There's a lot of comments coming in here and they're great. John in Edmonton says Saskatchewan will get an NHL team before any Canadian team wins the Stanley cup. I don't agree with that. There's some good teams in Canada. We're getting close Mm -hmm. and Saskatchewan will never get an NHL team. I need to be that guy. And trust me, I don't mind being that guy. Here's today's meme, Moose. Saskatchewan's never getting an NHL team. I understand that Gary Echeverry, the iconic CFL coach, says never's a long time. It's just not happening. And I'm not going to be the guy that's going to dangle it in front of you and keep your hopes up. It's not happening. And when the Heritage Classic was in Regina, October of 2019, I was there. You were there when I went up to Gary Bettman. And personally said, Gary, for 100 years, we in Saskatchewan have had to go to you, the NHL. Thank you for finally coming to us. All the players and coaches come from Saskatchewan. It's always going to be that way. But we're not going to have a team. It seems to work pretty well, too, for the NHL. And, you know, our players, we've got a great system through Saskatchewan. But it's just, look, it would be great. And fans would say, look, Rod, it does work because you'd sell out every game and it would be magic. No, they wouldn't. I, I think they would for about a year. And then it would get really hard really fast. It's 11 11, by the way. Oh, it's like most. <laughs> but it's just not, I, it's just not sustainable in a, in a market of the size. It's just not sustainable Beautiful. to have any, any sort of long term success. That's, it's, It'd be, t- it'd be really great at the short term at the beginning, and people would be excited, but they would struggle, and it would be, it would be tough. I don't even really want to talk about it that much anymore because it's not going to happen. We maybe missed our chance. Like in the 1980s when, the Saskatoon, when Saskatoon was about to lure the St. Louis Blues, they built a rink, for God's sakes, before the team even showed up. And Quebec City's done the same thing. It's not going to happen. We need to stop talking about it because you're just getting your hopes up and you're going to get them dashed. And Darren says they'd sell out the first year. I don't even think they would because when we built the new stadium, Mosaic Stadium with 33,000, we didn't sell out the first year there. I thought we would sell out every game for five years. We didn't sell out the first year in the summer. And you think people are going to drive two hours to fill Sastel Center every game for an NHL? I got some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you. And at $250 a ticket, too, by the way? That would be the biggest shock. Yeah. The sticker price. In the NHL in the 80s, we maybe, maybe could have done it then. But we don't have the head offices. We don't have the population. We don't have the money. 
it's not happening. Why are we talking about it? You know, back to Kale McCarr of Calgary, Calgary product, winning the Stanley Cup with Colorado. For years and years, to be honest, the only big-name Albertan on the national, international stage was Jay Bomeister. I've looked it up. Now there's Braden Point, who I would think would be in the conversation to be on the Olympic team for Canada. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, Makar, he's the best defenseman in the NHL, let alone Canada. Yeah. So times change, and we didn't get with it. Now, if we were going to put Saskatchewan versus Alberta versus Manitoba versus BC, which frankly I think would be the greatest thing ever, forget the World Cups. Forget them. Let's put a team Saskatchewan versus a team Manitoba versus a team Ontario because you'd have McDavid and Tavares. and That'd be the real Canada Cup. Yes. That'd be the real Canada Cup. Every province putting the best team on the ice. Would the NHL PA sanction it? Probably not, but it would be so cool. Where would it be? Oh, probably in Edmonton or Toronto. You could put it anywhere. You'd fill it. it would be, that would be unbelievable. Two weeks. I don't know when you would do it, but probably it'd have to be in the summer, probably in August. We'll take on all of America. I think we have enough. Well, I know Saskatchewan for sure. We got Holtby and Kemper in goal. Beat that. Eberly gets laugh. Bozak, Shan, McNabb, Chandler Stevenson. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't even need to play it anymore. Oh, yeah. Cole in, now that I think about it. How do we get on this topic? Uh, it is hour two of the RP show, by the way. We're brought to you in part by Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions. They specialize in improving your company's performance and bottom line through supply chain management services. I'm going to check the text line in a moment, but the viewer did want to know our predictions for week four in the Canadian Football League. Off the top of my head, Darren, we'll play deal or no deal later on in the week where we get the betting lines from Bet Regal. But here are your games this week. I'm glad I wrote them down. Wow. The NFL bound Nathan Rourke and the BC Lions visit Ottawa on Thursday night. They should just save the airfare. Should. Because BC is just going to destroy him. What do you think? Slap him away? Won't even be close. <laughs> <laughs> what do you actually think? I think BC will win. I think Ottawa will win. Ottawa's good. They're better than people give them credit for. I'll I'm going to take. take Ottawa, but you're taking BC. I'll take BC. Well, they got the next Warren Moon at quarterback, for God's sakes. How can you not? Friday, it's Chris Jones and the Edmonton Elks at the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And I'll say this, uh, the Tiger Cats are victims in a lot of ways of a tough schedule. They've opened at Sask versus Calgary at Winnipeg. And now they, that's an easy one. Why are we even talking about it? Right? All have, no, you think Edmonton's going to win? Come on. The, the trajectory of the Edmonton Elks, I think they get their first win of the year. They're getting good fast. They're, they're getting better. Declan asking for this, by the way. I think Declan is watching from Winnipeg, but I'm, this has turned out to be a lot more fun than I thought. Although I haven't seen the betting line, so it might be different come deal or no deal time. But this is straight up winners. That's, yeah. Saturday, July 2nd, Montreal at Sask, 5 p.m. Mountain kickoff. I will take the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Canada's team. Who are you taking? I'll take the Owls. Okay. You actually believe that, or you just want to be the fly in the ointment? Both. Contrarian thinker. Yeah. Okay. I think the Owls, the, well, the way they played, I know Saskatchewan's not that bad that they played last week. but uh, And we have to take a break soon. Lastly, Monday, it is Winnipeg at Tirana. Do the Bombers go to 4-0? What do you think? Yeah. yeah, I'll take Winnipeg. Okay, we'll talk about that more when we come back and all of these topics. Darren Dreger on the way, too, live from Memorial Cup. You're watching the RP Show live on the Game Plus television network, YouTube Live, and 24-hour sports radio, streaming now at rodpeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. 
A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital Four. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a pre-owned vehicle that's already on the lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital Ford Lincoln. Your adventure starts here. Hey, Rod Squad, now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show, official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. Are you ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital GMC. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a GM-certified pre-owned vehicle that's on our lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital GMC. Your adventure starts here. Capital Alberta, here they come! Welcome your Full Riders! Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Experts in all residential and commercial plumbing services and proudly serving Regina and area since 1978. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'll treat you right. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with the Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and the Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show, The Rod Peterson Show. It's the RP Show. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. I'd like to think so anyways. We're live from Grey Eagle Resort and Casino, Calgary's entertainment destination. Summer and fall shows coming up. The Beach Boys, the Tea Party with One Bad Son, Nazareth with special guest The Headpins, Burton Cummings, Terry Fader, the winner of America's Got Talent. I saw him in Vegas. Looking forward to seeing him here. Get your tickets at greateagleresortandcasino.ca or Ticketmaster. And a sports update before we bring the Moose in. Special teams figure to play a prominent role when the Hamilton Bulldogs and Shawinigan Cataract square off tonight in the Memorial Cup semifinal in St. John, New Brunswick. The Cataract scored three power play goals in a 3-2 win over the Hamilton Bulldogs in the round robin. The winner will go to Wednesday's final against the host, St. John Sea Dogs. And the Boston Red Sox are fresh off a three-game sweep of Cleveland. They've won seven in a row the next stop is Toronto for a Monday night date with the Blue Jays, who are struggling. Red Sox outfitter Jaron uh, Duran and closer Tanner Houck won't be with the team at Rogers Center because they aren't vaccinated for COVID-19. It is a 707 Eastern first pitch at Rogers Center. This sports update for dubnetwork.ca, your number one source for Western Hockey League breaking news and analysis. And for Ben Cahoon's G2G Protein Bars, now with eight amazing flavors, including the new almond mocha, RP Show viewers get 20% off with the promo code RP Show. Order yours now at g2gbars.ca. Oh, my favorite uh, beak ever, Moose. Okay. 
It's on my personal Instagram. It's not at me. It's uh, You can give us a follow right now at Rod Peterson Official or at Darren DuPont. I put a photo of Harris Jones on my Instagram with yeah. my telephoto great lens that everybody bothers me about. My camera it looks like a little point and shoot, but it's actually a Ferrari, this camera. Some guy writes, go back to the NFL. Some guy, Ronald3279, writes, go back to the NFL. Do I need to tell that story again? 1995, I'm broadcasting Regina Pats games in the Western Hockey League, and our coach, Rich Preston, still holds several Chicago Blackhawks records, including most shorthanded goals in a game in a career. He's coaching. We're, I'm not saying against who, because the guy's still in the league, but we're... We're brawling this team, and the guy yells over the glass, go back to the NHL, Preston, you loser. Can't even say it with a straight face. I know. Like, Go back to the NFL, you bum. It was, it was, a, <laughs> it was a good beak when we'd roll into a bigger center, Humboldt, Yorkton, Saskatoon, Regina, and they'd say, go back to Winyard, right? At least... You can for the big city in the small town, right? At least could be perceived as a slight. Uh, go back to the NFL where I was making more money and doing better. I'd like to. Thank you very <laughs> yeah, much. Where I was flying on the charter with the uh, double wide leather seats and the filet mignon. Yeah, working on it. I remember coming out of a rodeo cabaret in Moose Jaw at the Golden Nugget Center. And uh, several lives ago for me. And the city guys were yelling at us, why don't you go back to your sheep? And the fists were flying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a night that was. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. From Weed and Wrestling, he says, Rod, they have a really good buffet at the casino. Right? It's Calgary's best. And I, I want to say all of Alberta, but they just say, we're good. We're good oh, with Calgary. You missed out, I think, on prime rib night. I don't know what night that was, Thursday or Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, Ooh. Sunday, dude. I'm, so I'm all over it. So good. Asian night is Wednesday, seafood night Thursday, prime rib Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> I spent a few nights here, and I know it all. Uh, Ted in Red Deer watching says, the CFL should take a long look at the Calgary Stampede business model. They have the same cowboys and livestock as other rodeos, yet it is unequivocally the best. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the CFL, they don't want to be told how to do their business. Who does? Who does? But I get what you're saying. And, and, and as was in my column on the weekend, I'll just say this. I'm not going to piss and moan about CFL attendance. We went to the game. We had a great time. Everybody there is having a great time. When we came here in the wintertime, Darren said, we're going to Flames games then. Remember what you said? This is the leather pants capital of the oh, world. Yes. And now it's the uh, jean shorts and cowboy boots capital. It's the, the Daisy Duke capital of the world. They've got two seasons in this town. Leather pants capital and Daisy Duke capital. Yeah. Because I remember saying, we went from the sweatpants capital to the leather pants capital. Uh, 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 Ken Gill is watching in Pennsylvania. What are you laughing? You just got a thought in your head. What was it? <laughs> I know the sweat pad, but that's a 365 day thing. It's a cycle back home. Here is there's two seasons. I've seen there sweatpants look real good, by the way. That's oh, no, of not course. an insult. Of course. Are we talking Lululemons? Or are we talking champion fleece? I think that's about as far down the road as I'm good to go on that. Uh, regarding the memor, Randy from Winnipeg says, I hope the Memorial Cup has five-on-five five overtime in the, in the playoffs, not three versus three like in the round robin. Boy, I think that people need to potentially get over that. They want the games to end. We're, you have to understand the business side of it. And when you're talking business, integrity usually goes out the window. Integrity of the game. From a television standpoint, mm -hmm. believe me, they're trying to fit this game in a three-hour window. They don't want to go till midnight. Like, I'll never forget. 
Sorry to show my age here, but 1996, Western Hockey League playoffs. I've told this story a few times. We're doing Regina Lethbridge. I'm doing it on the radio. TSN's doing it nationally back when TSN used to do games regularly, junior hockey. And we went till 1.30 in the morning. Paul Romanuk was doing the play-by-play on TV. And to be honest, this won't surprise you at all. I'm doing the play-by-play on the radio. Al Dumba's my color guy. They called us Dumb and Dumba. And after the third overtime, I'm sitting there going, isn't this great? I said to Romy in the press box, he's like, oh, my God, just end it. Because the rest of Canada didn't really care what Regina and Lethbridge was doing. But right. I was in that myopic tunnel. That, how couldn't everybody care what we're doing? They don't want it to go on all night. They don't. And especially when you've got other games to play the next day, right? And, and potentially teams got to play multiple days in a row or the next day. No, they don't want it to go all night. I can confirm, though, it is three-on-three three during the round robin, and it's five-on-five five throughout the playoffs and in the final. So it is fine. Um, and in international play, I think they went to that, too, where in the gold medal game, it'll play overtime. But in the, anything before that, they'll go to a shootout. So at least there's nothing after that. So you don't have to worry about players being tired or compromising the integrity of a gold medal game when one team played all night and the other team was rested, right? The only time you'll see that is in the final. Personal preference, you could sit and talk about it forever. At the Centennial Cup in Estevan, where we were, they, were, they had shootouts. This is a national championship, and they had shootouts. Now, granted, they had to fit three games in a day. Yeah. And to be honest, man, you know, I was talking with my hockey fan friends about the Memorial Cup and how there's round robin ends on Saturday. Sunday's a day off. Monday's the semifinal. Tuesday's a day off. Wednesday's the final. I'm like, I guess we're not hurting for money that we can stay in a hotel in St. John forever. Forget about the teams. What about the fans? Yeah. Really but I don't know expensive. what I'm talking about. So, Really expensive. And the worst part is if you've got to rent a car these days, for those extra days, you're running about $500 a day on your rental car. Like, it, it racks up pretty quick. I flew in here on a week ago Saturday, and Moose had my vehicle, the wonderful Capital SUV, and I'm thinking, am I going to rent a car? I uh, went to look it up. It was like three grand for one day. I am not joking. Last minute? Not pretty. We're going to make you pay for it. Yeah. Out the nose. Uh, 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 uh. And this is fair here, um, fair. I shouldn't read it, but I'm going to anyways. John in Edmonton says, uh, lots of fans in Canada don't care about junior hockey on TV. It's all about NHL on TV. Well, then they're not hockey fans. They're NHL fans. Why do it then, right? Why even have a national championship for hockey? Yeah. It's all about the NHL. That's something that we're trying to change here. Dale in Winnipeg says he's going camping, right? He says, hey, the phones are always with me, camping. They're always just out of reach. He says, Jack waits for the 10 things. That's his son. Oh, my 10 things call him on the weekend. Thank you. People wonder how our uh, web traffic's going since the relocation of the show. It's up. More people are interested. We're talking about more things. Okay. We're going to take a timeout. Well, we got to, yeah, we don't want to keep Driggs. Heads up to the Game Plus newsroom in downtown Toronto. We're going to break early. When we come back, we'll get to viewer takeover for Taco Time because one viewer in Edmonton says, did you see the video from Victor Kui, the Elks president, talking about all the hate comments? I actually did. Did you see that? Yeah. I was looking for the president of the Edmonton Elks, Victor Kui, Saturday at McMahon. We're told he didn't make the trip. Or they didn't know where he was. Yeah. So that was, that, that was unfortunate, but can't be everywhere. But it looks like they're rocking in St. John. We're going to go there next. Moose, I'll see you in overtime. Okay. We'll see so you an NHL and Memorial Cup update with Darren Dreger next. You're watching the RP Show live from the Great Eagle Resort and Casino Event Center in Calgary on the Game Plus Television Network. We're also live streaming on YouTube, and you can always catch the podcast wherever the best podcasts are found, including Amazon, Google, Apple, Stitcher, and Spotify. 
Have you subscribed to The Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash The Rod Peterson Show now. Is it time to take your event online? Bring it to IKS Live. We've got a fully customized virtual event platform with remote guest support for your next fundraiser, talk show, conference, performance, and more. IKS Live offers live streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube and pre-recorded capabilities, both in our studio with green screen available and on location with pre-production and post-production services. Visit us at ikslive.ca. A legend throws 713 yards in a single pro football game. A legend wins three Great Cup MVP awards. Allen looking deep. A legend scores 1,209 points in 1,127 NHL games. Play among legends at betregal.net. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Find us at ddgregina.com. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes to our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. Ready? It's finally time for your next adventure, and it starts at Capital Four. Custom order the perfect new vehicle for you, or reserve one of the hundreds that's already built and on its way. Can't wait? Get into a pre-owned vehicle that's already on the lot and ready to rock. Plus, the American Export event is back and bigger than ever. We'll send your vehicle south, making you the most money for your trade. Guaranteed. Oh, and for a limited time, all name brand tires are employee priced. Only at Capital Ford Lincoln. Your adventure starts here. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with the Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and the Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show, The Rod Peterson Show. RP Show continues. We're brought to you in part by Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Find everything you need to know about our services, financing, product information, and more at broncoplumbing.com. We've got a lot of interesting topics on the table today, live from Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. And we're not going to St. John. We're going to Southern Ontario. My bad. Darren Dreger joins us, the uh, top NHL insider. I guess he's gone home from New Brunswick. But, Dregs, we've been watching it all. It looks absolutely amazing what's been going on at the Memory. You know, I uh, I haven't been there, Rod, for so, so long. I, I think I go, go back to London years and years ago when Sidney Crosby was with Ramuski participating in the Memorial Cup, and I was back at Sportsnet, and we uh, did a lot of live coverage back then. Um, but spending the first three days of the Memorial Cup in St. John's, I realized how much I missed it. The hockey was spectacular. The hospitality of the fine people of, of St. John, second to none. Uh, I left on Wednesday. I had to dive back into the Stanley Cup final. And uh, I was trying to generate some excuses to stay in St. John a little bit longer. But 
like the rest of the junior hockey world, uh, I'll be paying close attention to the action tonight because, as I said what? a minute ago, man, the hockey is top notch. Yeah, I, I apologize for getting excited, but it looks it's it's the dream scenario for the town that, and the team, right? For the final to feature the t- yeah. the uh, the Sea Dogs, man. It must have been very hard to leave. <laughs> It was, and and you know what? We we do it all the time in the NHL. Well, pro sport in general, Rod. It's the rest versus rust theories and the comparisons, and does it apply? Um, You know, I watched St. John Sea Dogs in the first game they played opening the Memorial Memorial Cup against the OHL champion Hamilton Bulldogs, uh, managed by Steve Stayhouse and the head coach, of course, former NHLer Jay McKee. And, man, they just, they could flat out fly. They could flat out fly. And we saw them push back, you know, over the weekend as well. So um, I'm looking forward to it. The roof is going to come off that building, depending on what happens with the Sea Dogs, because that uh, junior team is beloved, as most of them are across Canada in the small cities. Well, TSN has done just an exemplary job of the coverage. I've watched every single night. Now, I was telling stories earlier yeah. about the early 90s when TSN used to do WHL and CHL games on the regular. So it just feels right uh, that they're back. Now, not a shock that you'd be breaking a lot of stories coming out of the Memorial Cup because that's where the hockey people are. And I think the biggest was that Barry Trotz isn't going to coach this year. I didn't see that coming, although mm. it had been rumored. Um, that's what, what can you tell us about that situation? Well, you know what, Rod, a very personal decision made by Barry Trotz, and uh, I had the privilege of speaking to Barry uh, just prior to to breaking news, and, uh, you know, the explanation was from the heart. He just said, you know, he's got some things that he wants to do with his family. He's got an elderly father who he loves spending time with in in Manitoba, so he's going to do that. He's got his place in, in B.C., He's got family still in Nashville and some business opportunities there. So he's, he's got a lot of things going on right now. But the underlying motivation for him not coaching, getting back into the NHL immediately was that he just didn't feel the source of commitment. He couldn't get into it full on. And for any NHL head coach, they know that that's just not right. You, you can't go into uh, a season unless you're 100% invested. So he was very honest with the Winnipeg Jets and the other teams that acknowledge interest. Um, he wanted to speak to me directly because he wanted the narrative to come out of Winnipeg in a very appropriate and specific manner in that the Winnipeg Jets from Mark Chipman through management did everything. They moved heaven and earth to convince Barry Trotz to take over the Jets bench. So he wanted that on the record that uh, this wasn't about Winnipeg. This wasn't about the Jets not being willing to step up. That's all nonsense. It's all garbage. This is about Barry Trotz just taking the time that he's earned over decades of being in hockey, needing a bit of a recharge. But he also didn't close the door. He could be back in season or perhaps uh, next season. Well, uh, you saw the disappointment in Winnipeg. You saw how high their hopes were. So it's tough for the next guy going in for whomever it's going to be. No question about that. And, you know, I'm sure that our viewers and listeners would uh, would want me to give them the inside scoop, the information on who I think is the front runner in Winnipeg, right? Uh, And Shovel Dayoff and company are, are going through that process again. Overused word, but it applies. <clears throat> so they'll have a second run of interviews here. Uh, could involve Rick Tockett, could involve Jeff Blaschel, guys like that. And, you know, they might uh, roll over a few more stones and expand their list. So they know that they're on the clock. They know they've got to get something done, but they're uh, also invested to doing it right moving forward. A lot of interviewing Rod this week. Well, they're going to get a good coach no matter what. There's a lot of great coaches not coaching right now. It's just not going to be Barry Trotz. And the other big story, of course, yeah. was Paul Maurice. And, Dreg, you talk about a guy, when he, when he resigned, he said, my heart's not in it in Winnipeg. Well, clearly it is in Sunrise, but nobody saw that coming. And I spent, as you know, most of the winter yeah. there. You know, they were excited initially, and then some fans and media are like, well, this guy's never won anything. What do we know about Paul Maurice? You know, they're not the most ardent of hardcores down there. So, but it seems like a good fit yeah, to me. Uh, he agreed. And, and look, why Paul Maurice? Because Bill Zito, the general manager, recognized, you know, after they were eliminated from the Stanley Cup playoffs in a sweep by the Tampa Bay Lightning, that he needed more experience on that bench. Now, 
I'm not condoning the way that things were handled with Andrew Burnett. I mean, Andrew Burnett deserves a ton of credit for coaching, what, 75 games in helping the, the Florida Panthers to a President's Trophy, acknowledged as a Jack Adams finalist. This could have and should have been handled differently. Um, but I also understand why the Panthers felt the need to, to make a change. And Zito spent probably 20 minutes on the phone with Paul Maurice before he recognized, okay, I, I need to spend more time with this guy. Maurice acknowledged on the Rain Dregs Hockey Podcast that when he and Bill met for the first time face-to-face, they spent 11 hours together. 11 hours, you know, and they're not just talking about the Florida Panthers. They're talking about the philosophies of hockey and, and things that Paul Maurice would do, maybe his history in Winnipeg, his history throughout the NHL. So it became very apparent to Zito and the Florida Panthers, Paul Maurice was the right guy. And I, I say this with 100% certainty, Rod, Paul Maurice only had a few teams on a list that he would go to. And it's mostly because it had to be the right fit for his family. And he wanted to make sure that he was given an opportunity to win again. I mean, it's only a three-year deal. So it's not like he was trying to hit the financial grand slam. The fit had to be right. Well, it's amazing. You hear it a lot in that South Florida area that Bill Zito's made this an NHL destination that players want to come to. And I'm like, well, I'm new to it, but I don't know how anybody wouldn't have wanted to come here before. It's amazing. But it clearly, when you say that, it is a destination that coaches and players want to go to. Now, free agency is coming up and then the draft. Are you going to get some mm-hmm. time to get to the cabbage uh, here, Dregs, uh, this summer? Obviously, you will. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, and you've got a great memory. Um, and and for those who are confused by the term cabbage, it's because we're we're paying a homage to our roots in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, where they call them cabins, right? Well, in Ontario, they're called cottages. So we refer to it as the cabbage. And in fact, we're so eager to get there that uh, I've got a U-Haul booked, and I'm putting it behind my GMC AT4 right after free agency on July 13th. So I'll probably get home, Rod, around 7 p.m., maybe 7.30 Eastern, and we'll be rolling down the highway by 8, 8.30 on our way. And it's a long trek. It's going to be the better part of 30 hours, but can't wait to get there. I like it. Well, I remember because I'm a big fan uh, personally and professionally, and I also know how busy you are. So, Dregs, I'll let you go. Enjoy the last two days of the Memorial Cup. I'm watching all the time. I appreciate you, and uh, thanks for this today. As always, thanks for your interest, Rod. TSN NHL insider Darren Drager joining us from the home office. And hasn't that Memorial Cup been fantastic uh, in St. John? The semifinal tonight. Pitts Hamilton versus Shawinigan, 4 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Atlantic time. We'll come back with a sports update, more with the Moose, and a little extra time for viewer takeover. We'll be right back. We are live at Great Eagle Resort and Casino with the RP Show. As the residency continues at Calgary's entertainment destination, we'll be right back. You're watching on Game Plus TV. We're also live streaming on YouTube. And 24 hours sports radio streaming now at rodpeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Experts in all residential and commercial plumbing services and proudly serving Regina and area since 1978. Bronco Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'll treat you right. Hey, Rod Squad. Now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show. Official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Number 16, quarterback. Donovan, a legend throws 713 yards in a single Pro football game. 
a legend wins three Great Cup MVP awards. Allen looking deep. A legend scores 1,209 points in 1,127 NHL games. Play among legends at betregal.net. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes to our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. owners and marketers okay we know you think we're pretty cool that's why we want you to share in the coolness factor partner with the rod peterson show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities tell the world about your business yes the world thanks to game plus tv and the rod peterson digital network contact us today and find out how you can be a part of canada's fastest growing sports talk show the rod peterson show It is Great Eagle Resort and Casino. We're in the event center for at least this week. And then they're moving us outside. I can't wait. Uh, the Moose is back here for overtime. Brought to you by the Four Seasons Sports Palace. Your home for the Stanley Cup playoffs. They were. I have to find a new one, I guess. The CFL. How about that? Okay. And uh, the UFC. The text line is open. 902-518-3033 in this Taco Time viewer takeover. I wanted to mention this to you, uh, Darren a story that we broke this show yesterday, that Wacy Rabbit, that wascally wabbit, Wacy, former WHL player, a guy that I have so much respect for as a player, as a person, things that he's battled and overcome in his life, Wacy Rabbit is joining the Saskatoon Blades, your favorite junior hockey team as assistant coach, and his wife Ashley Collingbull is joining the Blades and the Saskatchewan Rush as ambassador that's what i was told by the team i would assume community ambassador brand ambassador yeah all of it i guess that could mean a lot of things it could right it's just you're gonna have your fingers on a lot of things helping promote the team and get out in the community and so i think that's it's awesome yeah so you know the hockey thing the train just doesn't stop never never (laughs) it just doesn't and i think that's such you know we talked about that that higher check on a lot of boxes but forget about that it's, you know, connecting with the hockey team. For me, that's the most important thing of all of it. Here's a guy who is with the organization coming back to the organization. And, you know, I think that's important for the group, you know, and, and the prisoners and the ownership group to have that connection with the history of the franchise. And this is a big part of that. Great hire. He's going to be great for the team. Smart, obviously talented, qualified, but he's going to be great in the community. Well, since you went down that road, I'll just say it. I'm not just a fan of his as uh, as a hockey player and coach, but he follows everything I do on the recovery side, and he doesn't. He's not shy about it. He and I are both in recovery, long term recovery from addiction. So for that reason, I like to see a guy win. Yeah, you know, and Wacy's winning. So I, the reason I bring that up is I was going through my Instagram here in the break, and we posted that yesterday that Wacy's going to be taking over that job. So, and by the way, you since we're sitting here talking about it. The the, vac- the vacancy, you know more about that, how the job came open. Yeah, um, Marsh went 
Ryan Jeremy, Marsh. Ryan Marsh, the assistant coach. And thank you for that. Uh, mm-hmm. I believe took a job in the professional league in Germany. That's my understanding. So he's he's uh, got a promotion, moved on, did great things uh, in the organization, longtime assistant there. Uh, he's been around in the Western Hockey League for a long, long time. Big fan of his and hope he has a lot of success too. So again, asking our viewers what they would like to talk about here in viewer takeover. That's... <laughs> Again, it's Canada. They're going back and forth. Football, hockey, hockey, football, blah, blah, blah. Can, well, and there's, again, Americans watching that want to talk about Canadian things. That's why they watch this show, because they're not getting it anywhere else. And Ken, watching in Scranton, Pennsylvania, wants to know if Nick Arbuckle is the real deal at quarterback for the Edmonton Elks. The guy that I call Nick Fatty Arbuckle. Look it up. He's not offended. We've talked about it. I guess you're saying that you think this, is this going to be Nick Arbuckle's coming out party this week at Hamilton on Friday Night Football? I hope so. I hope it is. Um, It would be great if it was, and he started to elevate his game, and the more marquee quarterbacks you can have in the Canadian Football League, the better the game will be, right? More rivalries, better games. So um, is he there? No, we haven't seen it yet consistently enough. But can he be there? I hope it happens this week. Janelle Barkman, Blades fan, writes in. She says, we are excited about the addition of Wacy. Yes, this has been a very popular hire. Uh, it's been getting a lot of reaction from Blades fans, obviously, the hockey community. They just know he's a good guy and he knows his stuff. Yeah. You know, and he's been working as an individual skills coach as well. So he knows the game. He's earned this. This is all right. Um, Andrew Stout writes in and says, Felicitation. Congratulations to Luke Richardson, new head coach of the Chicago Blackhawks. So again, I'll say it again, it is late June. We're looking outside. It's a beautiful summer day. And hockey is what is in the news across this land. And that ain't changing. I mean, I'll say it again. You know, Bernie Nichols last hour, I really wanted to get into winning time. And I've, you know, I said last week, Bernie, you watch Winning Time, and the next week, and we bring you out on Monday, you give us your uh, review. So I was really ex- You were on the phone. You didn't hear the interview with Bernie. He goes, well, I went to New York. My gal took me to New York for the week. I didn't have time to watch TV. So he went to a Yankees game and all yeah. that. So we're going to have to schedule some sort of interview this summer with uh, Bernie Nichols to talk about Winning Time, the streaming sensation on HBO Max in America and Crave in Canada. Well, what else you got, Moose? What's, how's the week looking for you? No, it's looking really good. Um, I'm you know, excited, obviously, about the, where we're going with the show and being out here. It, it'll be interesting, too, because they're going to move our show outside next week. Yeah. So that'll come with its whole set of challenges, right? Weather, Internet out there, all those connect. So I'll be busy doing that. Um, the business side is going great. So I'm uh, making lots of connections and lots of friends in Calgary. Uh, so that's that's really exciting for me. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, well, now would be as good a time as any to tell our people back at the Millennium Falcon in Regina where they're producing and operating the show, yes, we're going to be outside in the middle of the bull riding arena. I'm waiting for an oh, no. <laughs> Rick Regan. They've just fell off their chairs. Just hitting the panic buttons. Jordan just said they just died a little on the inside. You're not the one that's going to be sitting in the bull arena. How about me? (laughs) How about that? I'm not really that. Yeah, I'm not really that word. Maybe next week I'll tell the story, and I'm sure my one brother is watching. He watches all the time, but it was my other brother who, thank God he was there. He saw it. I scissored, scissored a five and a half foot corral fence when a bull was chasing. Scissored it. Oh, I told you that no. story, haven't you I? You did. You've, you've told it on the air. I was walking across a three-corner pen. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. It's a pen with three corners. <laughs> and uh, I turned my back on the bowl, which you should never do. And I'll never forget my brother yelled, Roddy! Over my shoulder. <laughs> Boom. Didn't even touch the thing. Didn't even touch it. Scissored it. <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> what you will accomplish when your life's on the line. <laughs> Adrenaline. Yeah. You know, they say, you know, 
kids getting crushed, you can lift a 30,000 pound car, 3,000 pound car. I think they could do it. Right? Superhuman strength. Well, you got the superhuman. Scissored hop. it. The hops. Yeah. A couple things. Darren uh, Workman, for one, he says a little cowboy poker rod. You know what that is, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard there's only room for one chair out there. Though. <laughs> So I might be. Two. That'd be two. Uh, Darren in Utah, by the way, says, has Trevor Harris taken over as quarterback one for Montreal? Well, of course he has. As people ask questions that they already know the answers to. What do you think? They're all in two with Vernon Adams. And then a week three, he doesn't play because he's got COVID. And incidentally, so does the owner, which makes me think that they were hanging out in the same place. But that's their business, not mine. And then Trevor Harris comes out and plays and wins. What do you think they're going to do? Of course he's going to start at Saskatchewan on Saturday. And I feel bad for VA. We love him. But can't make the club in the tub. What they also say is you can't lose your, your job because of injury. And what I learned, it took me a long time to learn this in the CFL, but I did eventually learn it. That is a case-by-case scenario. Mm-hmm. Depends who you are. Depends what your name is. That's right. And the situation, too, and, you know, whoever's in charge. So for Kahari Jones, he's got to make that job. Just because somebody made the rule doesn't mean he's got to listen to it. So um, it'll be interesting to see what Montreal does. But they've got two very capable quarterbacks, and that's a good thing. Last minute of play in hour one. Last minute. Again, it's taken me a long time to learn, and I'm lucky that I did it. While in my 40s, while I still have a time to pass this knowledge along. But I used to think, and you quoted me when I said, if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have one. But I would say the Philadelphia Eagles proved that's wrong. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have a better chance of winning when you've got two quality quarterbacks. And it's interesting that Trevor Harris and Vernon Adams have been able to get along to the degree that they have. It seems that they have. They're both good guys. Yeah. They want to win. And I admire the heck out of it. Oh, boy. Questions are coming in now uh, that we don't have time for. BW in Edmonton says, center ice of the bowl arena with the rodeo clown dancing on the ceiling. Tune in next week. And for the rest of you, we'll see you tomorrow, noon Eastern, here on Gamefly City and YouTube. Who has more fun than us? (laughs) Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Oh, good one, Rod. Ha.